Yo, 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 it's your boy Black OG, telling you why there's way too many problems. Um, I mean, why well, there's a problem with women having way too many choices. Alright, so let's just get straight into it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, the problem is, the problem with today's dating, today's modern dating, our relationships, relationship is what I should say, because <laughs> it's an absolute shit show. The average female, uh, well, she's not, she's not virginous. Shoot, all well, these females are losing their V card between the ages of twelve and sixteen. Some even younger, which is the crazy part. Like, what are what are some of these young females doing out here, man? Like, what kind of parents do they have? Like, an 8 or a 9 or a 10 or 11, shoot, a 7 through, like, 15-year-old girl shouldn't really be out here sucking dick, getting abortions, drinking, getting trains ran through her. But the reality of the situation is, the funny part is, uh, since I happen to be born with a pair of balls and a, and a cock between my legs, it's sexist to say such a thing. And, pro and if, if I were to probably tweet it on Twitter or some stupid shit like that, um, I'd probably get instantly banned. Because Lord forbid that men are able to freaking speak up about what relationships about or how relationships are. Meanwhile, these females are out here telling men what we should be doing on a daily basis, and it's perfectly not sexist uh it's perfectly not controlling uh it's perfectly healthy according to these useless feminists um anyways anyways i was getting off topic but normally when i do that it tends to be uh pretty good for uh, red pill content so <laughs> anyways uh, yeah man problem with these females is they have way too many options back in the day uh, a woman had to choose between two three maybe four guys and she would have to stay with one of those guys forever or at least until he died Nowadays, get out of here. Nah, nowadays, females, they want to give up the most important thing that can guarantee them a high-value man at a super young age. And then at 30, they want to shame all the men who they rejected, who they laughed at, who they manipulated, who they used for free rides, free dates, free meals, all the validation. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't freaking use shaming tactics or create laws or some bullshit like that or freaking make a movement or a hashtag, a trending hashtag, and then say that men shouldn't be doing this, say that men are all sexist, uh, men just want y uh, younger women. Meanwhile, these females, when they can get any man they want when they're young, they're fucking guys that are, that have nice boats, that have half a million dollar yachts, multiple houses. That's the problem with you females. You don't want to freaking build anything. You just want to go straight for the top. You don't even want to be a guy in between. And that's just what kills it. That's what makes dating so hard. All these standards and then all these 
list of freaking standards, and these bitches, the only thing they're bringing to the table is a vagina that most likely some other guy has been in. And the older she is, the more dicks have been in that vagina. Shoot. I'd love to see you. I'd like to see you point out five females in your own personal life who are under who are under or I guess over the age of twenty five and hasn't fucked over four or five dudes. There might be one or two, but five or ten females like that. <laughs> Please. Anyways. Yeah, man. There has been a lot of negatives to be, uh, to feminism, and there's been a few tiny positives. And I'll probably make another video about that. Anyhow, um, these bitches have way too many options, and they're all going for the top percent, man. See, one thing they don't understand is all the rich men in the world could marry, let's say, 30 different women at once, and there's still not enough. There's still not enough rich men to go around for all these females. That's what they need to realize. But reality doesn't hit them until they until men high value men stop giving them attention until men stop giving them free rides free meals and free resources that's when they notice and that's why they fail at relationships that's why a lot of them are on anxiety medic medication or antidepressants so they don't have to slit their throat at night so they can sleep at night. So they can cope with all the all the dudes that they've slept with. All the dudes that they did dirty. And now are having a better life than they are. All the dudes that they rejected. So yeah, man. That's the problem with today's society. Uh, the average woman has way too many options. The average man... It's barely getting anything, if not anything, because nowadays uh, a lot of guys are actually losing their virginity um, in their 20s. I'm one of those guys. I lost my virginity when I was 20, actually. But, uh, yeah. It's just going to be funny when society burns. Because these females are going to wonder why that men aren't stepping up, willing to throw away their lives. But what reason is there? If, if there was a war that broke out today, what reason is there for me to throw away my life for this country? What has this country done for me? What has this country done for you? Every day we get shamed. Every day there's double standards. Every day there's laws, more laws being made that hurt men and help women. Every day there's more women sucking off, uh, sucking off of men's money through taxes. Every day there's something negative happening to men, whether we know it or not. So, when society goes to hell, or collapses, or we get invaded by Muslim Tyrones or something like that, and women and women won't know why men are stepping up, but at the same time, these be like I said, these bitches throwing us in jail, taking half of our shit plus our kids child support, putting us on child support for 18 to 21 years, getting away with pedophilia, getting away with murder, and 
getting put get put getting put on house arrest getting put on house arrest for crimes that they should be in prison for for years or maybe decades like literally i read an article before where a woman like tried to kill her husband or she did kill her husband and she got house arrest how privileged do you have to be and like i said when society goes to hell everything's burning all these women are suffering and hungry and don't have shelter and then and they're in endangered you know or guys are trying to rape them and shit they're going to be wondering why men aren't helping them risking their lives or throwing away their own lives to save them. But at the same time, like I said, these females, they were doing us dirty. They didn't say anything when it came to equality, real equality. Um, shoot, only 20% of women are on paying taxes. So real in all reality, only 20% of women should be voting. But here we are with all these females that are in debt, that are just have useless degrees, ran through, they're voting, and they're voting for things that only help them but destroy society as a whole. <laughs> Man, I just can't wait for I can't wait for the actual collapse. This whole corona thing, this ain't nothing compared to what the real collapse will be. But I just can't wait for it. Because by the time the actual collapse happens, I'll have all my resources. I'll, I'll be stocked up on toilet paper. I'll be stocked up on guns. I'll have all the weed I need. And, um, and uh, I'll be stocked up on tampons too. <laughs> because uh, in, uh, when, when society collapses, a lot of these bitches are going to be... <laughs> Are gonna be trying to give head, give pussy for basic things, aka toilet paper, tampons, food, water, shelter. Which I ain't gonna give them most of those things. The only thing they're getting from me is TP or dick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is my video. Uh, women have.